Okay, here's what's going on. We've got a pole over here that's 20 feet high. Got another pole over here that's 60 feet away from the first pole, but it's 40 feet high. And we've got these supporting wires that are assumable, assumed to be attached to the top of the pole and anchored to a point on the ground somewhere between the two poles. And we want to know where that anchor point should be to minimize the amount of wire. And what we need is a function that gives us uh, the amount of wire that we're going to use depending on this anchor point. So if we let this distance right here be x from the base of a short pole to the anchor point, then by the Pythagorean theorem, this distance has to be the square root of x squared plus 400. And similarly, this distance has to be 60 minus x. This distance remains constant, 40. So the length of this wire is the square root of 60 minus x, the quantity squared, plus 40 squared, or 1,600. If we add these two together, we've got a formula for the length of the wire, depending on how far this anchor point is from the short pole. Okay, and if I share my screen, just so you can see what's happening, um, go to Desmos. Here's the depiction. You can see if I'm 7.6 feet away from uh, the base of the short pole, the length of the wire is 87. And as I move this way, the wire, total wire seems to be getting shorter and shorter. As so I get in the vicinity of 20, I'm in the 84s, but then as I move this way, the length of the wire gets greater and greater until way over here it's over 100. So we're assuming that somewhere in the vicinity of 20, the anchor point will give us a minimum amount of wire. Okay, so how do we figure that out? Go to board two. Here's our wire length of wire function right here, which I've rewritten with uh, rational exponents, combining some similar terms. So the derivative, using the power rule and the chain rule, uh, gives us this. Notice I canceled out these twos. <laughs> and now if we set that derivative equal to zero, we can get the critical numbers for this function. And I won't go through all this. You can pause the video and check the algebra. But if I multiply through by the least common denominator of both of these denominators to clear the equation of fractions, this is what I get. Uh, since we're solving a radical equation, we got to isolate the radical uh, and then square both sides. Of course, that step could introduce a, an extraneous root. But again, check the algebra. Um, we get down to here. And there's your critical numbers. Because this factors in x minus 20 times x plus 60. So there are your critical numbers. We can reject the negative 60 because we're dealing with the distance. We should use the first derivative test to make sure that that 20 is given giving us a minimum value. Um, I won't do that here. Um, there you go. That's how you find the anchor point, 20 feet from the base of the short pole. Okay, hope that helped. If you have any questions, post a comment.